Good evening, football fans. Welcome to Bob Shelton Stadium. Tonight's contest features our own Johnson Jaguars versus the Shirts Clemens Buffaloes. And before we get started talking about a little football, I'm going to bump it over to Coach Kane to get an update on our Jag volleyball team. This is uh, Coach Kane from Johnson High School here, just uh, giving you an update on the uh, volleyball program. Uh, really exciting stuff going on here at Johnson High School, having a historic season. Uh, the varsity team is off to its uh, best record ever at 33, 34 wins and six losses, uh, eclipsing the previous total of 29 years from two years ago. Uh, so pretty exciting stuff going on here. Uh, we've, uh, we're currently sitting 8-0 in district and leading the district, and so we have uh, four games to play and um, hopefully uh, wrapping up maybe the, potentially our first district championship, which would be another, again, uh, kind of historic feat for us here in the program. Uh, a lot of exciting things going on in the program as well, not just at the varsity level. We see that our sub-varsity teams, JV, Flex, Freshman, are also undefeated uh, in district. Uh, both, uh, all three of those teams have had uh, quite a bit of success throughout the season, and so we're looking for them finishing up the district season as well. Uh, lots of amazing things just going on in the program besides the wins and losses. Uh, we've uh, put a lot of um, uh, a lot of uh, kind of a historic uh, feats out there. Uh, both uh, multiple players have uh, eclipsed uh, total season total records or career total records for kills. And Nia Hoskins is is having a historic season for us um, as an outside hitter. Brooklyn uh, Myers, one of our senior setters, has also uh, eclipsed over 1,500. Uh, assists for the year. So a lot of really amazing things. Uh, we've uh, got four games left in our district schedule. Uh, we're on the road for the next few weeks, but we'll be back um, in about two weeks on Tuesday, um, uh, October 30th, I believe is our last home game here uh, at Johnson High School. It's senior night. We'd love to see a lot of people out there to support these young ladies who've been working really, really hard and have had such a great year and a great career. And so we want to support those girls uh, but uh, would love to see a big group of people out there and uh, as we head into the playoffs in the next couple of weeks as uh, the first week of playoffs will start November 4th or 5th uh, against a, a team probably from Laredo. Now let's talk about football. And so on set with me tonight, we have Coach Carlin, Jag football coach, as well as our athletic director, Lance Moffitt. And Coach Carlin, talk to us about the bye week and, and what you did with that time and, and, and where we are at this point. Yeah, we, we were really fortunate this year. The way uh, the bye week planned out is almost right after, um, you know, middle of the season, we're able to get healthy. You know, when you play 6A football, you know, when you play football in the state of Texas, you're going to get banged up a little bit. So timing was great. We did get healthy. We we're out, we, you know, at the same time, you still got to find a, a way to get better. So we did do that. We went outside a few times last week. We still, we're still lifting weights. We're still watching film. Uh, we're still beginning to implement that game plan uh, with some of the, the film that we had in already. So um, it was it was great for us, you know. Our kids our kids definitely got healthy, and we definitely took took advantage of it as a staff. Coach Carlin, why don't you tell us a little bit about what it's going to take to get the win tonight over Church Clemens? Yeah, well, we're expecting to play a really well coached team. Um, we're expecting to do what what we do offensively. We want to win the line of scrimmage. We want to be able to take our shots downfield when we need them. Defensively, we really want to get after them. Uh, we want to create a lot of turnovers. We want to create turnovers on downs. Um, that's the goal tonight. We want to play on all levels. Uh, special teams has been really good for us over the past few weeks. We want to continue to play. Um, we want to strive for perfection. That's really the goal offensively, defensively, special teams. And at the end of the day, we need to play hard every snap. Looking forward to another balanced attack by the Jags. Uh, all three phases, Coach mentioned it, you hit on all three phases and, and you just keep striving for perfection. You know, it's a, it's a battle to improve all, all 11 weeks of the season and we just hope to continue to see that happen tonight at home. Tonight is Principal Appreciation Night and we are going to allow each of the feeder pattern principals in the Johnson Zone uh, to be honorary captains. So that's going to be exciting. And as always, so excited to see all of you here at tonight's contest. Our student section is one of the best in the state, so get loud. We love seeing our band, our cheerleaders, our dance team, everybody that makes this game so special. So sit back, relax, get loud, and enjoy the evening. Thanks everyone for celebrating Pink Out Night with us tonight. Go, Go Jags! Jags.